What a joke. That's their seat slider mechanism. You just flex that steel over and over and over until guess what happens? Guess why it would happen? It pops off. So what I'm gonna do Okay, so here's what's going on. Uh, some more of uh, uh, it's been you know it's been several days. We've been recording over a uh, period of several days. Uh, what's been going down? I think we've more than covered this. There's uh, videos on this. You can go check that out. Check that out. There's a video of the actual crash um, and recovery. Uh, we're working with insurance. This car, we're getting ready to go to Glamis. Uh, we're gonna leave in let's see, in three days. Two days, something like that. Anyway, this car's dirty, nasty, but uh, it's got a broken seat slider. So that's kind of going to be some of the focus of this video. I don't know how many people have had this happen. Uh, it's weird that uh, so my cousin Dean, that's in a, most of the videos, a lot of them, uh, his seat slider and our seat slider broke on the same trip, same ride, within, I don't know, seems like a very, very short period of time. Um, from each other. So anyway, that happened. It was the disastrous trip where this happened. Uh, what else happened? I think I've shown all this, but just to recap, uh, trailer got trailer jack got bent on this trailer. We had a blowout, uh, which resulted in a bunch of the. It's it's covered, you know, underneath. Can't remember the exact term for it, but anyway, it's a uh, underbelly covered. But what happened is we ended up ripping this line out that goes to the refrigerator, the gas line. Tire blew, caught the line, ripped it out. So I've repaired that. We've done some repair on the underlining under here. Refrigerator is cooking away right now. Let's take a look. It's actually, uh, it's burning right. Trailer's filthy dirty. We need to wash the trailer. We need to wash the can am but anyway that burner's cooking right now the refrigerator's getting cold that's the new line uh, the focus of this video is really going to be more so more so about that uh seat slider let's do that right now i'm going to pick all this up in the video this will be clean so we can put the chair on the bench and do our thing we'll be back all right real quick i had this ratchet so i had zip ties uh, around this bar to get under the wheel which kind of worked a little bit worked not completely so then what I did next unfortunately I took it off so you can't see it I wrapped the zip tie around the front and the back on both sides and I cranked it super tight that actually worked perfectly the seat would I could have left it that way would have been fine but I want the seat to be adjustable brandy sometimes you know drives and uh, so we need to make it adjustable like it was that's what we're doing uh, anyway so let's go ahead and get this thing out. Um, stuff in the way everywhere. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Let me show you. I'm not gonna pull the seat out. I'm not gonna pull the seat all the way out because I'm starting to get annoyed. I don't, I hate undoing or redoing stuff that I've already done. Here's the basics. Let's get this ratchet out of the way. Here are the basics of what happened here. There we go. It was wrapped around the... It's just a brake line. Don't worry about that. Right. There we go. Ratchet strap out of the way. Here's what's going on. So, can am Come on, man. What a joke. That's their seat slider mechanism. You just flex that steel over and over and over until guess what happens? Guess why it would happen? It pops off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this roller off and see if we can figure out a, a better way, right? Either that or I'm gonna just weld it back on and call it good. We'll see what happens. Um, let me grab some wrenches. This look like a, maybe a 10? Let's find out. 
Okay, so I played musical musical cars, moved things out of the driveway so I could put that can am out there so it'd be easier to get to because, you know, it's really close over here. I can move it over here, but anyway, went to do that and the battery's dead, so we're charging the battery real quick. Uh, yeah, we know why, it, you know, left something on, kind of deal. Okay, so my frustration level of trying to work in this cramped little spot with not being able to open the door all the way and all that good stuff was overwhelming. So I got the car started. So we're gonna back up and do this the right way. out okay so there it is let me go grab this other piece anyone anyone of you that haven't has not seen this uh, how this mechanism works I'll show you real quick it's kind of cheesy can am I love don't get me wrong I love the can am but I love the can am but this is kind of cheesy hold on so I got pulled this piece out and this is the piece that I was talking about that's really cheesy and broke off, right? So it's just attached right there and this arm's welded on there and then it just kind of, you know, flexes that metal back and forth and back and forth over time. Ours has been flexed more than the average. We get this weirdest, some people are just weird. The weirdest comments, well, I don't know why I broke, bro. well, that's because we flexed it a bunch of times. Uh, the other thing is, and the reason we flexed it a bunch of times is because Brandy will jump in this thing and drive it around camp, or she'll drive it over to, um, I don't know, to the vendor rows, over to vendor row or whatever. And then every once in a while what happens, because I cut this out right here, to be able to pull the seat out without taking that mechanism apart, so I could just pop those four bolts and pull the seat out, because that normally is in here, captured in here. Uh, it gets out and it gets pushed too far. That happened, it just happened. Uh, people crack me up. I don't understand why you're blowing belts. Well, because we push the throttle harder than you. If you don't blow belts, you're just not pushing the throttle. That's it. Not a big deal. Anyway, enough of that rant. Basically, what I was going to do, I still love the I'm in love with the idea. I'm not going to lie. I think all my ideas are the greatest. But, due to the time constraints and energy levels, I'm still a little beat up from crashing this. Anyway. But uh, I'm a little beat up from that. I'm tired, running out of time. So what I wanted to do was actually put, weld a piece of rod to this. It's hard for me to do this, I'll show you with one hand. But, okay, picture this. A piece of rod this way, right? And then some tubing here, tubing here. And that pivots in there instead of bending metal every time. And then I was just gonna take a piece of spring and lay it across there. That way it's spring loaded, right? And pivots. I'm gonna do it. What do you think? Comment down below if you think I should do it or not. Don't skip ahead to see if I did or not. Just comment comment down below and let's see what happened. Anyway, so here's what's gonna happen. So we get the rollers all out of it so we don't melt it because we're gonna do a little bit of welding. Here's what's gonna happen. Ready? This. Let me. I gotta put you down. So here's what happens. You take this piece here, right? And you got two nuts on it, right? So it turns in the nuts, so it's nice and stable, right? Kind of like bearings. We take this, we're gonna notch this a little bit just so to get the proper clearance for the slider. And then we're gonna weld this to this right there. And the nuts to the, to the, to the slider here, to the roller. And then we pivot, pivot, and there will be a spring it lays over the top. Maybe it'll go from like here to there, right? And it'll lay over that and it'll keep that down. I'm going to say center is right here. 
So I'm going to notch that. And this will set into it for the clearance. See how that fits. Ideally, I need the rollers in here, but in the suit. Right, we got a ways to go. We're just going to cut this, hack this off. We'll be right back. All right, there we go. There's our piece. What do you think of that? What do you think? Comment down below. Okay, so let's grab this welder. We're going to move Superman. You can sit over here for now. Grab this welder, roll it over here. Plug it in somewhere. Fire it up. And throw some welds on this thing. It's on there, right? Look at that. It's pretty cool. So this bent up. This is kind of spring still. Bent it up so it actually acts like the spring, and that lifts up. And it should do the job. We'll find out in a minute. We're gonna put it all back together right now. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna put it back in the car. We're gonna see how it works. All right? Looks a little more beefy. Look who came. Look who showed up. How's it going? How's it going? Are you breaking something? How's it going? It's always something broken. You're breaking something or you already broke something and you I already broke it? something and I fixed it. Look at this masterpiece I created. It's actually pretty badass. It's crude. The welds are horrible. But it works. Let's hold it up for a few hundred more miles. Well, it'll hold up longer than the factory one will it would for sure. What and why roll the sports did you do? Huh? Huh? What? I in the Walmart. What in the Walmart hell did you do? <laughs> That's badass. So two nuts threaded welded to this, so it moves in the threads. Hey, boy. And it's spring loaded and it's badass. Here we go. We're gonna, here we go. We're gonna put the seat in, we're gonna test it. You ready? 
No. So we got this thing back together. Kinda. Sorta. Pulling tools out of here. And let's, uh, we gotta clean, we gotta clean up. We got the welder out. We got tools all over the bench. But let's, uh, let's see what we got here. We gotta put the belts back in. Forgot about that little part. But yeah, look at that. Can you see it? See if I can zoom in on it. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. It's a little ugly and it works. And it works quite well, actually. So, yeah. So there's that. Okay, so like we showed you, seat slider fixed. Car cleaned up. We didn't show you that part, did we? Anyway, car's all cleaned up. Uh, we did a couple little things, you know. Uh, I think we already talked about uh, replaced the tires because we had a blowout and it destroyed some things on the trailer. Ripped out the propane line to the refrigerator. Tore up some of the underlying. Fixed all that. Replaced the tires. Uh, that's that. Um, also, been having trouble with this thing staying, even with a third ratchet, a third bonnet and E-Track, been having trouble with this thing staying tight. So what I did is I unlaced one end. Normally these just have a hook on one end and a ratchet strap on the other. So I unlaced one end and put another ratchet strap on the other end. I didn't do this one because it's so close to the wall that there wouldn't be room for a ratchet strap in there. The other thing I did, and I still have some cleanup to do, is remove the washer dryer hookup, relocate the heater vent down there in the bottom. I still have to plug up those holes. I still have to deal with some, put that, I'm gonna actually put that shelf back up. And then I gotta deal with a couple little minor repairs right there. But we just did that, so, well, this car, with these paddles is 78 inches wide so when that happened we ended up as you can see the line of the washer dryer hookup is you know almost a third of the way half of the way into that tire so by removing that it's easier to back in because you know even with it over that far look how much you know it's super tight over here anyway so everything's repaired i have the battery on charge i gotta clean up a few things here before we head out um, I'm gonna close the door up make sure this is cl this clears I know it does already but I'm just gonna double check we also took off the whatever you call patio the side rail thing I forget what they're called we don't use it we put the deck out sometimes but I don't need a uh, baby gator on me so we took that off just to make it easier to get in and out so we are loaded up and we're ready to head to, head to Glamis um, yeah, can't wait to get out there and ride. Last trip was a bit of a bummer. We ended up with this. You probably already saw that video. The garage is a mess because we're still getting ready to go. Gathering tools, gas cans, stuff like that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. All that good stuff. We're out. We'll see you in Glamis.